Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And of course, uh, we talk a lot about um, how Copilot is inefficient, slow, and doesn't really work uh, that well. Actually, Cortana was better in many ways. But we also need to understand that this is starting to, uh, it's a work in progress, basically, uh, as Windows 10 users are about soon to get the uh, Copilot. Um, of course, Microsoft will need to ramp up the power of this Copilot and have it working better. Well, what we learn now is that if you are using um, the um, Copilot in your browser, or if you're using uh, the, uh, the um, Copilot app on its own, uh, Microsoft is actually working on um, adding a GPT-4 Turbo. So this apparently will give a big, big boost to the Copilot performance. Uh, once again, Copilot is kind of slow right now. So it's not that great. Um, now, you know, I kind of wonder where Copilot will also be going in the future is how you know, we, we talk about how, so Copilot coming to Windows 10, it's in Windows 11. Windows 12 will be AI driven, which means Copilot will be there for sure. But there should be other things also because AI, I can't see AI being just that. Um, and as time goes by, this gets more powerful every day. Um, up to what point this is going to be a thing or not? And, um, you know, we have these technologies that get into Microsoft products and we end up with these technologies not being that used. Um, one of the things I noticed from a lot of you is that the co-pilot is not something you're going to use. Uh, and, of course, a lot of you have kind of commented when I talked about how slow it is. And... I just have a hard time seeing where can we and what will Copilot or AI in some way make everything better. It's going to be, you know, it's there's a vision, that's for sure, that Microsoft does have. And there's a vision of what this is going to be in the future. But it just seems like for now it's a little too early and we still need to work on it before everybody, you know, starts thinking of what it's going to do next. I've noticed that they're really putting it everywhere because every time I ask a query in Google or ask something, I notice that very often the browser will add the little panel of Copilot or the Bing AI and say, well, oh, the, what, that query you just made, you know, we have an answer too. And it's like, yeah, no, but I didn't ask for you to give me an answer. I asked Google or whatever, you know. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but apparently uh, they're working hard to implement the most powerful versions of ChatGPT uh, in the Copilot. So we'll see what happens next. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.